didn't plan on delivering him quite so early. I expected to go to 39 weeks, um, but we made it to 35, which was this past Saturday. Um, I actually ended up developing preeclampsia, so which is high blood pressures, and they were unstable, so that's why he had to come a little earlier than planned. The staff up here has kept us, at least kept me informed of the whole time, making sure that kind of know what to expect mm -hmm. so I don't go home and, and worry about everybody up here. <laughs> but yeah. so far, it's been good. If my wife was the patient, she could tell me how she feels. If I was the patient, I'd probably get a lot of explanation. But mm -hmm. this little guy isn't going to say much. So mm -hmm. we really rely on them, and they've done a really good job yeah. explaining a lot to us and making yeah. me feel a whole lot better. He came out crying, um, but... He just couldn't quite keep his little lungs open, so they had to put him on some CPAP, um, you know, which these um, incubators um, help do, and they kind of do everything we need. They're really, really awesome and a great resource. They're portable, so we can, you know, I've seen him over in labor and delivery when we have to call them over. He's doing better now. Um, he actually just got off his oxygen this morning, so we're making some strides. We're doing well. He needs to eat. We want to see him gain some weight, and so they have some tube feedings here with some of the equipment that they've been using to work instead of bottle feeding. We as labor and delivery nurses are able to do that initial kind of help them as far as assess them. If we need further care, then that's when we call NICU. And they'll come and, you know, bring the whole team and all of that. Yeah. So, um, and all the equipment that Children Miracle Network provides is amazing. So, um, it really helps out a lot. I was talking with one of the nurses that's been here for quarter century. Mm -hmm. so like, I've been here for a long time. <laughs> yeah. She said some of these young guys spend a whole year in here. Apparently the boys are a little tougher on the on mm -hmm. the road okay. to recovery. Get used to having three three boys. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the 11 year old is really excited. He hasn't quite got to meet him yet. Um, mm -hmm. We're hoping that'll happen soon, but he's pretty excited. The Our two year old, you know, he's clueless. They came in and just started going through the paperwork to get checked in. Mm -hmm. Then they went in ahead and started talking about what's available for Children's Miracle Network. And mm -hmm. immediately up front, it sounded like a, a, a safety net, but um, something that every parent has access to mm -hmm. and that they use often. It's a stress reliever, you know, because, you know, with them not only providing the equipment, but some of the outsourcing things they do, like as far as medical bill coverage, everything else that they do, it helps you to be able to focus on you know getting your kiddos better so just having that peace of mind is like means more than you could imagine maybe he'll be my quiet one <laughs> we'll see back out here live